It's 2020. The coronavirus pandemic has changed lives all around the globe. For the first time in the history of mankind, we can see empty streets of world capitals and megacities. Communication, negotiations and meetings have become virtual. The Pope has never said prayers to the world in the middle of St. Peter's empty square. Holy places of the blessed Mecca, radiant Medina and Al-Quds, Jerusalem, have become deserted without millions of pilgrims. The world has changed. But everything passes and this pandemic will pass too. What awaits humanity? What awaits the Ummah, a global community of Muslims after this pandemic? We understand that epochal changes are coming to the world economy, social sphere, culture and the spiritual life of the modern world. What will the future bring us? Once again we realized the value of education, medicine and culture. But there are growing fears and doubts for our future. The prospects for development of the world community. What awaits us? In these issues, doubts and challenges, we find support in our faith. It's faith in the Creator who will not leave His creation in trouble without answers that will help overcome this crisis. The crisis is inevitable. And what we'll see, moving forward after breaking with the past or falling down. In many respects, it depends on opinion of those who will lead the global society into the future, including the opinion of the leaders of our Ummah. The pandemic has raised old unresolved issues to the surface. Today, on both sides of the Atlantic, we hear that racism should be wiped out as a phenomenon. The ecological balance of our planet should be maintained. There is no place for injustice and oppression in the world of the future. Anti-racism and ecological movements are striving for prosperity and harmony of our common home, the Earth. As well as the movement against global injustice. And as the UMA, we should focus on our burning issues, including unresolved problems of Palestine. As it is also a manifestation of injustice. How do we respond to these challenges of the day and what are the possible solutions? In order to discuss and find these answers, European Muslim leaders, for the first time on such a scale, are organizing an online conference against racism and in support of ecological balance. Post-pandemic UMA, leaders' opinion. The initiators of this representative meeting are the European Muslim Forum and its partners, global leaders, representatives of various denominations, prominent state and public figures, opinion leaders from different countries and continents have been invited to this conference. Today, the opinion of these leaders is of great importance for Muslims in Europe. 170 million people from the Atlantic Ocean to the Ural Mountains. This conference will help us understand the fate of the world and the UMA after the pandemic and what we can do for our common future.